Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life, or Alicia currently in general and also brand new on my website if you want me to coach you every step of the way step by step throughout your dating or relationship process and journey and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term then I have a special program just for you link is in the description below also and I can help you out personally again one-on-one -on -one with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new girls night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my girls night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh He's Toxic Period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video, and this video is titled, Give a man some space to miss you and to appreciate you. Right, ladies? So sometimes in life, in a relationship, in a marriage, even in a situationship, whatever. Anytime you're dealing with a man, sometimes you got to give this man some space to miss you. You got to give him some space to really appreciate how good of a woman you were in his life. Sometimes you have to show a man that, hey, brother, I could be here one day and gone the next day. So you better appreciate me while you even have me in your life. You have to value yourself. You have to teach this man and show this man that it is a privilege for you to even be in this man's life. It is a privilege to even have a good woman like you. You have so many great qualities you know, and this man, a lot of times men take advantage of you. They take you for granted. They don't appreciate you or they feel entitled or they feel, you know, like they just don't even care. Like they ignore you. They use you. They manipulate you. They play you. They cheat on you. They lie to you. They disrespect you in your face, right? It's some men, they just be walking all over you. They just hurt you so bad, they break your heart, right? And a lot of men, they don't appreciate what they got right in front of them. They don't value you. And a lot of times, the reason why they don't value you is because either A, the man don't even value himself as a man. He don't really even, he don't value nobody. You know, he's selfish and only care about himself. Or B is because 
He felt like you ain't never going to leave him. He felt like you always going to stay. He felt like you just a soft, weak woman, and you going to sit there and be quiet and do whatever you're told, and you're not going to do nothing about it. And he could just rip and run in these streets. And he could just have sex with all the chicken heads and the hoochie mamas and the hood rats. And come right back to you like everything okay. He think he could just play you in your face. And it ain't going to be no consequences behind his actions. He think that he could just get away with whatever. And you're going to be sitting right there waiting for him to come back. He feel like he can put his hands on you. You know, he can verbally hurt you. He can physically do some type of harm to you. You know, stuff like that. Putting hands on you. You know, and he think that that's okay. And you just gonna sit there and let him do that to you. He think that he could just cuss you out. Call you all out your name. He can call you the B word. A lot of men do not appreciate you until you're gone. That's the sad reality. A lot of men, they don't appreciate you until you no longer in his life. Until you take away all of your benefits away. That's when he wake up and realize how big of an impact you had in his life. When you take the booty away, always take the booty away. Take you away, right? You take you away, first and foremost. Take you away, no contact. This is all about no contact. Take you away, take the booty away. Ain't no more cooking, ain't no more cleaning, ain't no more talking to him, emotional support. Ain't no more being there for him when he needs you. Ain't no more coming to his rescue. Ain't no more nothing. He don't even hear your voice no more. Ain't no more texting. Ain't no more meeting up with him. Ain't no more coming over his house or you going over his house. Ain't no more y'all going out on dates. Ain't no more nothing. He ain't getting no gifts from you. He not getting no money out of you. He not getting nothing from you. You got to pull back and take everything away from this man. You got to strip him of all of your goodness, your goodness, your generosity. Some people don't appreciate generous people. Some people don't appreciate nice people that's there for them. You was there for this man. You was down for this man. You would do anything to make him happy. Sometimes that's the problem because a lot of times it's never reciprocated. You would do anything to make this man happy, but what is this man doing to make you happy? What is this man doing to benefit your life? Most times, if you ask yourself, how is this man benefiting your life? You can't even come up with an answer. But I bet you, you could come up with a thousand things that you're doing for him to benefit his life and make him happy. But what did you get in return other than your heart broken and a wet behind from laying on your back and spreading your legs for this man? What did you get? Nothing. You ain't get nothing out of the deal. You allowing this man to walk all over you. You allowing this man to cheat. How many times this man got to cheat on you until you be done with him? You know, until you just pull back, until you say enough is enough. He don't respect me. I need to leave, you know, and or how many times this man got lied to you? You know, he a liar. He lied about everything. You can say the sky is blue. He says orange, you know, just lying. He just lie about whatever. And how many times this man got lied to you for you just be like, I'm tired. I'm fed up. I'm, I'm sick of the games, of the disrespect. I'm sick of you playing me. I'm too good of a woman. A lot of y'all women, you too good for this man. And you know it. Deep down somewhere inside you, you know you too good for him. You know he don't even deserve you. You know you deserve better. You know you should love yourself more than you love him. You know that he don't even love you. You know he don't care nothing about you. You see how he acts. 
You always got to pay attention to the way a man acts around you or the way a man acts to you. The way a man treats you is exactly how he feels about you. If he treats you like trash, guess how he feels about you? Like trash. If he treats you bad, that's how he feels. He don't care. You know, if he treats you horribly, disrespect you, if he neglects you, if he's inconsistent, if he act like you just invisible, that's exactly how he feel about you. He don't care nothing about you. You always got to pay attention to the way a man teaches you how he feels about you. Do not always believe what a man say. Anything come out of man's mouth, you might as well just disregard it. You might as well just say it's just game. It's a lie. Because a man will tell you anything. How many times have you heard this? Oh, baby, I love you so much. I care for you. You my everything. I never had a woman like you before. I never felt this way about a woman before. You so beautiful. I love you so much. You know, I want to marry you. I want to have kids with you, baby. You know, I just want to have a good life with you. You mean so much to me. I love you so much. Blah, 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 blah. Lies. Lies, I tell you, lies. Why? Because look at his actions. How is he acting? He could tell you all day until you turn red in the face that he love you. But is he showing you that he love you? Do you feel loved? That do you feel loved right now? If you if I asked you right now, do you feel loved? A lot of y'all gonna say no. I don't feel love. I don't feel love from this man. I don't feel appreciated. I don't feel I don't feel like this man even value me, even respect me as a woman. I don't feel like this man even care nothing about me. The, look how he acting. He cheating on you, but he say he love you. Is that love? That's not love. Cheating is not love. If he loved you, he will respect you to not have eyes for other women and try to entertain other women. If he love you, it should be you and only you, right? He tell you, you the only one for me, baby. But he go out and he going to mess around with other women. So he lying. Don't believe what a man tell you. Believe his actions. His actions is who he really is. His words don't mean nothing. A man's words don't mean nothing. Nothing. If his actions and his words don't line up, his words don't mean nothing at all. So you always have to believe a man on who he really is and how he treats you. And, you know, you so much of a good woman, you cooking for this man, the, the full course meals, you know, you cook a whole dinner for this man, you cook lunch for this man, you cook breakfast for this man, you waking up cooking breakfast, eggs, bacon, pancakes, toast, whatever, you know, you over here whipping it up, cinnamon rolls, and biscuits, and sausage, and hash browns and you got some orange juice you over here whipped it up in the kitchen right breakfast you over here making his lunch you know whipping it up lunch and dinner making him his favorite meals you making your favorite chicken alfredo you know pasta you over here making you know chicken wings and you over here making you know all types of grilled salmon you over here making, you know, steak and lobster tails and preparing his food for him. You over here making him tacos and all types of stuff. He eating good, but he mistreats you. How are you going to reward a man and he disrespecting you? He eating good. He wake up. He got, he got eggs, bacon, and pancakes laid out for him with some orange juice on the side and he cheating on you. That don't even make no sense, right? So you cooking for this man for what? And he don't appreciate you. 
You cleaning up this man's whole house. You done got the feather duster. You got your apron on. Like you Molly the maid. You got your apron on. You got your feather duster. You got your vacuum out. You got the Swiffer out. You got the mop out. You got the broom out. You got the spray bottles out. You got the Febreze, the Lysol, the Fabuloso, the Pine Saw. You got everything out, right? And you got the Clorox. You over here, his whole house spotless. You picking up all his stuff, putting it where it needs to go. You know, for what? You did all that just for him to cheat on you? Just for him to lie to you? Just for him to put his hands on you? Just for him to cuss you out and dog you out? And you doing all this for him for what? And he need to be the one cleaning up after himself anyways. You shouldn't have to clean up after a dirty man. He dirty. Why you even want to be with a dirty man anyways? A woman shouldn't even have too much to even clean. If you got a clean man, first of all, if you got a clean man, you shouldn't even have to worry about cleaning up after a man because he already going to clean up after himself. You know, so, but you, but you clean up after him like he, like you his mama and he don't even appreciate you. You giving him booty, you opening your legs for a man. But what did you get? <laughs> this man lie to you, cheat on you, put hands on you. He don't pay for nothing. He ain't gave you no money. He ain't showed you how to get no money. He ain't got your nails done, ain't got your hair done. He ain't took you shopping. He ain't even take you out on a simple date. He ain't even bought you a plate of food. He ain't even providing nothing, no value to your life. But you opening your legs back behind your shoulders, trying to, you know, please him and make him happy. You over here giving all your best moves in the bedroom. You over here waking up. Waking him up, trying to please him using your mouth. You know what I'm saying? On his private area. You over here, you know, giving him the, the, the sloppy, right? I don't want to get too graphic, but you know what I mean? You over here giving him, you know, some blah, 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 right? And he don't deserve that. You on your knees. Giving him some blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Fill in the blank. And what did he do to deserve that? You know, you giving him booty for what? You opening your legs for what? You giving him your mouth on him for what? You know, what you doing that for? And look how he treats you. He don't deserve none of that. Look how he treats you. He ain't even bought you nothing. He ain't got you nothing. You ain't got no gifts. He don't take you out on no trips. He don't take you out on no dates. He don't do nothing for you. He mistreats you. Matter of fact, not only do he not benefit your life, but he mistreats you. You know, and he don't appreciate you. He don't appreciate you. You over here being his emotional support. When he needs something, when he going through something, when he sad, when he upset, when he going through what he going through, who there for him? You. You there for him every single time. You there. Ain't nobody else there. His mama ain't there for him. Sometimes his best friend's not even there. Sometimes his other family member's not there for him. A lot of men, they always complain. Ain't nobody there for me. You know, I did it on my own. Wasn't nobody there for me. Don't nobody care about me, blah, blah, blah. But you the only one that was in his corner. And he don't appreciate you? After you the only one that, that, that give a care about him. And he don't appreciate the one person that's in his corner rooting for him? Oh, okay. Guess what? You know... This is what you got to do. You, you just got to get fed up and say, you know what? Enough is enough. Now it's time for me to remove myself from this situation because this man obviously don't appreciate me. It's time for me to remove myself. All my goodness. I'm, I'm an asset to this man's life. I'm giving this man everything just to get nothing in return. You got to wake up and say, 
I don't deserve that. You know, I deserve so much more. I deserve some reciprocation. I deserve a man to pour into me like I'm pouring into him. I'm pouring into him and now I got an empty cup and he don't never pour back into you. That's the problem. So you know what you got to do? You got to give this man some space to miss you. Give this man some space to actually think about what he did wrong. To actually appreciate the good woman. To actually be without you. He need to go without you. He need to really wake up and realize, wait a minute, this woman has so many great qualities. She's a wife and I'm about to lose everything by being a dummy, by treating her like trash, by not valuing her, by not respecting her. I need to get her back and I need to act right. Otherwise, I could lose her forever. You want to teach this man a lesson because a lot of people, I'm going to just tell you straight up, a lot of people don't appreciate good people. If you a good person watching this, you know you a good person. You know you a nice girl, right? Nice people don't get appreciated like how they should. They never do. This is a very selfish world. Everybody's selfish. Everybody want to do what they want to do. Everybody just thinking about they self. Everybody just in it for they self. Everybody just want to make themselves happy, but don't want to contribute any happiness to nobody else. Everybody want to take, 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 but they never want to give. They slow to give, but they quick to take. This is a very dog eat dog world. This is a sink or swim world. This is a very, you know, selfish world. We live in a selfish world. And, you know, sometimes you got to be selfish with yourself. Everybody else selfish with they self. So sometimes you can't even give your goodness. If you're a good woman, you got to hold off on how good you are to certain people. Because not everybody deserves your kindness. Not everybody deserves your benefits. Not everybody deserves your goodness. Because they take it for granted. They take your kindness as weakness. They take you for they take advantage of you they just feel like you always there you ain't never gonna leave i don't care i'm getting everything out of them and i'm good and i and i and i can go off and do what i want to do but meanwhile you empty-handed so sometimes you gotta separate yourself and give this man some space to actually miss you and appreciate the good woman that you are, okay? So, ladies, without further ado, we're going to jump right into this video, right? And per usual, I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five reasons why you need to give a man some space to actually miss you and appreciate you and to get his act together before he lose you forever. And sometimes, depending on what he did, he needs to lose you forever, if he crossed the line real, real bad, hey, you need to be gone. And you need to be done with him and just get you a whole new man, okay? But either way it go, you still got to pull back and go, what? No contact. Say it with me now. Say it with me. We're going to say it all together. No contact. No contact, all right? So we're going to jump right into it. We're going number one. So number one, the first reason why you need to pull back and go no contact and give a man some space to miss you and appreciate you. Number one is he needs to see what life is like without you. So this man, he needs to see what life is like without you. He needs to suffer. You need to make this man suffer without you. When this man don't have no booty from you no more. Oh, he going to be suffering without your booty. Yeah, sure, he might get some booty somewhere else. He may or may not. It ain't your booty. He really wants yours. Them other little side little girls he dealing with, they come and go, they ain't nobody. But you, the one that was holding him down, the one that was giving him that consistent booty, that's different than just a here and there temporary booty. He might have a one night stand and never see the girl again. You know, so he don't got that consistent booty. It ain't nothing like consistent booty. You know, I'm going to tell you what the old players say. This is what the old, old school players say. 
they always tell men, they be like, hey, brother, don't lose your for show booty trying to get some more booty before you end up with no booty, right? I'm going to say that one more time. This is what the old players say. They say, don't lose your for show, for sure booty. The booty, the consistent booty, don't lose your for show booty trying to get some more booty, trying to get more being greedy, trying to get more booty because you're going to end up with no booty because this girl going to find out about these other girls or these other girls going to find out about this girl and then a lot of times ain't nobody going to want to mess with you, right? Because you a liar and you a cheater and you mixing and, di and dibbling and dabbling and all types of stuff. So you're going to end up with no booty and you're going to end up in a drought by yourself and you ain't having sex with nobody. And that's a man's worst fear is losing a woman that had consistent booty with him. So don't even worry about the other girls. You know, when you take your booty away, your booty the one that matter. Them other girls, eh, whatever. Your booty the one that actually matters if you take that away, right? So you take the booty away. He got to suffer without the booty. He got to suffer without them home-cooked meals. Ain't no more waking up with, with, with breakfast no more. No, nah, you better starve. You better go catch McDonald's breakfast. <laughs> you better, and before 1030, you know, because 1031, they switching over to lunch. So, you know, guess what? Ain't no more. Ain't no more home-cooked meals. Ain't no more dinners. You know, you better go to Wendy's or you better go to Chick-fil-A or Raising Cane's or you better go somewhere else to go get you some food. You know, you better order takeout at a restaurant because ain't no more cooking over here. Right. So you gonna have to starve or you gonna have to eat that fast food, that cheap stuff that's not good for your soul. You gonna have to eat that bad food. Right. And then you take away, you know, your cleaning. Yeah, when you take away your cleaning, I ain't picking nothing up no more. I ain't, I ain't vacuuming no more. I'm not dusting no more. I'm not spraying stuff down no more. I'm not sweeping and mopping no more. Nah, leave it dirty. You cause your mess, I'm leaving it dirty. Clean up your own mess. Clean up your own house. Clean up, your, clean up after yourself. I'm not cleaning nothing. I'm not touching nothing. I'm not doing no laundry no more. Nah, wash your own dirty drawers. I'm not washing it no more. Wash your own. He, he probably don't even know how to wash clothes without you. Look how much this man's suffering without you. He don't even know how to wash. How you work the buttons on this dryer? How you work the buttons on this washing machine? Uh, okay, I got to separate my colors from my clothes, my other clothes, or I got to separate the darks from the lights, or I got to separate this and that. Okay, how much fabric softener? How much How much detergent I use? What I, he don't even know how to wash clothes without you. He going to suffer. His clothes going to come out. You know, all dingy and, and not clean if he even learned how to even work the washing machine. This man, he going to suffer without you. He don't even know how to use a stove. This man don't even know how to use a stove. But guess what? He going to suffer without your, without your cooking, right? So he get no booty. You know, he don't get no booty. So he going to have to suffer. He can't eat no more. He going to have to eat takeout. Ain't no more cleaning up. He got to clean up after himself. He got to do his own laundry. Ain't no more you helping him with his business. No, I'm not helping you build your business. Do it yourself. I'm not going to be your secretary. No, do it yourself. I'm not going to be your assistant no more. Do it yourself. I'm not going to be taking calls for you for your business. No, take your own calls. I'm not going to be, you know, on the computer typing stuff up for you. No, nah, type it yourself. I'm not going to be emotional, emotionally available for you. I'm not going to be, you know, there for you when you need a shoulder to cry on. No, nah, you better go cry in the car by yourself. Wipe your own tears because I was there wiping your tears and you ain't appreciate me. I was there when you lost everything and I stayed by your side. 
I was there when you lost your family member and I was there for you when they passed, right? Away. I was there when you was going through your rough time in your business. I was there. I was there holding you down. Ain't no more. I'm not, I'm not going to be there no more. You better suffer by yourself. You ain't going to have me holding your hand no more. Suffer by yourself, right? So, when you take all your great benefits away from him and he just suffering because he don't know what to do now. He don't know how to wash his clothes. Most men don't cook. You know, it is some men that know how to cook, but most men, they don't know how to cook. That's why they always want a woman to cook. When you go cook for me, when you go cook for me, because he don't know how to cook. Most men, if you go to a single man's house, he probably barely even got food in his fridge. He probably barely got pots and pans to even cook on. He barely got plates and silverware to even eat off of. Go to a single man's house. He barely got furniture in there. Go to a single man's house. He ain't got no food in the fridge, you know? So you need to show this man how big of an impact you had on his life. You got to show this man that it is a privilege for you to be in his life. You got to show this man how big of a part you played in his life. When you take everything away and strip him away from everything, now he realized, wait a minute, my life ain't going as great as it was while she was here. When she was here, my laundry was done and folded. When she was here, I was eating good. When she was here, I was getting booty. When she was here, she was helping me with my business. She was typing stuff for me, taking calls for me when I couldn't do it. When I was sick and I couldn't do nothing, she was there with some, with some orange juice and some chicken noodle soup and a hug to make me feel better. Right? She was there for me. She gave me, you know, some little vitamins and some medicine to heal me back, you know? And now I don't have none of that. Now when I'm sick, I'm just sick. Now when I'm down and out, I'm just down and out. I don't got no extra, extra hand around here, right? That's basically what it is. You was that extra hand, a helping hand, a woman. What they say, a woman is a helpmate. Yeah, ain't no more help. You know what they say? The Bible, the Bible say a woman is supposed to be a helpmate. You know, a helpmate, right? He ain't got no more help no more. Ain't no more help. Do it yourself, right? Now he appreciate the help he did have. Oh, yeah. When you don't have that help no more, you quickly realize, hey, life, I, I, it's a lot of things I got to do on my own that I might not want to do or that I might not be good at doing or I have to divide my time doing so many tasks when I had, you know, somebody to take some of that load off of me, right? So, and then it give him some time. Not only do he suffer without you, now it give him some time to reflect. It give him some time to feel guilty, to think about what he did wrong. It give him some time to really sit there and be like, wow, you know, she was just a great woman and I'm about to lose her. Let me go get her back, right? So that's number one, make him suffer without you. Number two, the second reason why you need to pull back and ignore a man and you need to give him some space, some distance, no contact, block his number, or just ignore him and, you know, give him some space so he can appreciate you. Number two is you show him that you don't need him in your life. And you show him that essentially you can do better without him or you got other options other than him. So when a woman is powerful and she knows her worth and she's securing herself and she loves herself, it's easy for her to walk away. It's easy for her to pull back. It's easy for her to go no contact because she loves herself so much. She, she don't even want to go through 
what this man putting her through, right? And you show this man that you don't need him. You show this man, hey, brother man, hey, sir, hey, homie, guess what? I can survive without you. I can, I, I got my own car. I can get to and from work wherever I need to go. I don't need you. I got my own money. I don't need your little money. I can pay for it myself. I don't need you. I got my own place to stay. I don't need you to pay none of my bills. I can handle it myself. I, I can I can be in my own house or my own apartment peacefully. I got my car outside. I got money in my bank account. You know, I don't need you. I want you here, but don't ever get it twisted, little boy. Guess what? I don't need you in my life. I wanted you as long as you acted right. But if you don't appreciate me, hey, I'm going to do just fine over here without you. My life's still going to be the exact same without you. I'm going to still wake up and go to work. I'm going to still take care of my kids or I'm going to still take care of myself. I'm going to still, you know, talk on the phone with, with my best friends or hang out with my friends. I'm going to still hang out with, with my family members. I'm going to still eat every day. I'm going to still take a shower. I'm going to still go to sleep every night peacefully. I'm going to still, you know, I, my life going to be the same with or without you. I don't need you. You needed me more than I needed you. How about that? When you, when you pull back from a man, you basically told him, hey, brother, you don't appreciate me. I can go elsewhere. You need me more than I need you. When you pull back from a man, you ignore a man. When you go no contact with a man, you're basically telling him, you need me more than I ever needed you. I don't need you. I can survive and do well, even do even better without you, right? And or sometimes when you pull back and you go no contact with a man, you also communicate to him, hey, brother, you're not the only one that want me. You're not the only one I could just deal with. I could go get me another man. You know, I could be by myself and or I could just give me a whole nother man anyways. That's better than you. You're not the only man in the world. You know, I can attract better men than you. I can attract taller men, men with more money, men that's more handsome, men that are more in shape, men that, you know, got a way more, a lot of money than you, right? I can attract the best of the best. I don't even got to deal with you, you know? Because every man, this man that you're dealing with right now, he feel like you ain't never going to leave him. He felt like he the best you could do. Every man, pretty much every man, and I'm going to say every man, 99.9% .9 of men automatically have inflated egos and they think that they think that they're the best you could do. They think that you can't do no better than me. I'm in your life. I'm the best you could do. You can't do better than me. Where you going to go? You can't do better than me. You ain't going to find nobody better than me. I'm the best you could do. I'm the best. You ain't going to go nowhere. You're going to sit down and be quiet and let me walk all over you. You're going to sit down, be quiet, let me cheat on you. You're going to sit down, be quiet, let me lie to you. You're going to sit down, be quiet, and let me put my hands on you and cuss you out and call you out your name. And you ain't going to do nothing about it. Matter of fact, you still going to wake up and go in the kitchen and go make me a sandwich. How about that? You ain't going to go nowhere. Where you going to go? You going to do better than me? You can't do better than me. You ain't going to go nowhere. It don't matter how I treat you. I can treat you like dirt. I can treat you like the bottom of my shoe. I can treat you like you nothing. And you still going to be here. But when you pop this man bubble, when you show this man, I, huh, I don't know what you thought. I don't know what type of twisted delusion you in. But guess what, brother? I don't need you. I never needed you. You not the best I can do. I can do better than you. I can separate myself from you. I can cut you off. I can move on with my life. I don't have to see you. I don't got to talk to you. I don't even have to deal with you. I ain't got to deal with you. I ain't got to deal with you and your mess. I ain't got to deal with this. You're not the best I could do. You show him I can do better than you. I don't need you, right? 
So when you separate yourself from a man, when you go no contact with a man, when you block a man, when you ignore a man, when you leave a man right where he at, guess what? Now he automatically think, wait a minute, if she not talking to me, who she talking to? If she's so easy to drop me and move on, who else she talking to? If she's so quick to block me, ignore me, and not talk to me, who she talking to? If she's so quick to kick me out of her life, wait a minute, is it another man? Can she do better than me? And you might not even be talking to nobody else. You might just be chilling by yourself. But he automatically think it's somebody else, which is a good thing. Because that proves to him and in his own mind, he's going to assume that you are starting to move on and that you could do better than him. And now somebody else is going to reap all your benefits. And he don't want that to happen. A man's number one fear is another man having his woman and all of her benefits and he don't have it no more because she moved on with another man. That's a man's number one fear. So he creating his own scenario in his head, even if it's true or not, that another man is reaping all your benefits. So that makes him suffer again without you, right? You see, back in the day, a woman needed a man to survive. She absolutely needed him to be able to feed herself. A woman, you know, she was dependent on a man back in the day, right? A woman, she couldn't own land. A woman couldn't get a bank account. A woman couldn't get a driver's license. A woman couldn't own nothing. A woman couldn't get a credit card. You know, it's a lot of rights that women did not have. Women couldn't even vote at one point in time. Women did not have a lot of rights back in the day. And a man was the main provider of her whole existence, right? Until modern day today, women have all of those privileges and all of those, you know, basic human rights. And now women are able to survive on their own. And now women got more jobs, better money, you know, more money, they got more education than men a lot of times, right? And now women got their own, so they got dependent on the men. Back in the day, if a man was doing you wrong, you know, you just had to sit there and let him cheat on you. Sit there and let him talk to you crazy. Sit there and let him, you know, have a baby on you. Sit there and let him cuss you out, call you out your name, put hands on you. Where was you going to go? You couldn't go nowhere. You ain't had no money to leave. You couldn't own nothing. You couldn't even get a driver's license to drive a car to get away from the man, right? But nowadays, a woman's able to leave. She don't have to stay. She don't have to be dependent on a man to survive. She can survive on her own, especially financially. You know, a woman don't need a man financially to survive no more, right? So you basically showing this man, I don't need you. I can feed myself. I can clothe myself. I got my own car. I got my own house, apartment. I got my own money. You, you, you just don't even matter to me no more. You know, as long as you gonna disrespect me, I don't need you. My life going to be the same without you, brother. So I don't even care, right? And then on top of that, you show him that you got other options. Like you got other men that's checking for you. You got other men that want you. Other men that's in line, that's been waiting for y'all to break up or separate. And you know, other men or another man might snatch you up and he know it's only a short amount of time before somebody else come take you away. So he going to try to do everything he can to get you back or just to feel sorry for what he did to you, right? So that's number two. So number three, the third reason why you need to give a man some space and some time to miss you and to appreciate you, number three is it makes him chase you back and it makes him 
feel guilty for what he did to you, for doing you wrong, right? So when you ignore a man, when you block a man, when you go no contact with a man, when you pull back all your benefits, when you no longer in his life, and guess what happens? He starts to suffer without you. Like number one, he realizes you're not there no more. And then over time, he starts to miss you. You see, it don't matter. A, a lot of times you might not think that a man misses a woman, but a lot of times, you know, in the beginning, he might try to act all hard, try to act all cool. I don't need her. I, I'm good without her. Forget her. I don't care. I'm not tripping over her, right? You know, but over time, once he realizes that no other woman had his back, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. A lot of times, he going to try to act like he okay with you leaving. Oh, you going to leave my life? Okay, I don't care. Bye. Leave me alone then, you know? But what's going to happen is, during that time, he going to mess around with some hoochie mamas, some hood rats, and some chicken heads, right? And guess what they going to do? They going to dog him out. They going to use him for his money. They going to lie to him. They going to cheat on him. They going to mess with other men. They going to disrespect him. They going to just dog him out. Use him up for all his money. Free dates and free whatever. Free attention. They just going to use him and dog him all the way out, right? So then what happens is he starts saying, man... I should have just stayed where I was at, you know, with you. Because you was the one that cared. You was the one that didn't do him wrong. You was the one that he actually should have appreciated. You know how men say, you the woman that got away? Have you ever heard that before? When a man say, that woman, she the one that got away. That's the woman that got away. You know, because you the woman that got away. Or the woman that he pushed away. And that he no longer has access to. So now he start missing you. Because now he comparing you to them other chicken heads. Them chicken heads, it ain't fun no more. The street's not fun no more. This inconsistent booty. I might have sex with one girl. And then the next day I don't hear from her. Or I might talk to one girl. I might get her number. She don't text me back. I might take one girl, on, one girl out on a date. And guess what? I don't get no booty after. I just spent all my money on this date and I never got the booty. I done took multiple women out on a date. I ain't getting no booty. So you know what? While I'm spending all this money and I'm wasting my time and these girls are dogging me out or they talking to other men or they using me for my money, I could have just stayed where I was at, right? So then he come crawling back to you. Now he come chasing you back. Baby, I need you back. I'm sorry. I messed up. I can change. You know, a lot of times when a man come back to you, it's because he went out in them streets and he thought that he could do better than you, but he realized the grass was not greener on the other side, right? He seen the grass ain't greener on the other side. He thought he could replace you or he thought he could get a rebound and get over you. But a lot of times he can't get over a good woman like you because a good woman will never be in competition with no chicken head. Never no hoochie mama. Never no hood rat. A good woman will always stand out over the hood rats. You know? So a lot of your exes come back or a lot of men come back once they see there ain't nothing else out there. When a man go date multiple women and he see ain't nothing else out there and nobody can compare to you, now he come running back to you, chasing you. I'm so sorry I messed up. Please, I could change. I could change. You know, now he want to come back, right? Or, you know, a lot of times he, even if he don't go out and date other women or have sex with other women or talk to other women or whatever, he might still just be reflecting. He might just be in his reflecting stage where he just thinking, reminiscing like, you know, I really did this girl wrong and I don't have her no more in my life. And she really left me. The nerve of her, the audacity of her. 
How dare she leave me after I dogged her out and cheated on her and lied to her and disrespected her and put my hands on her. She really left me. You know, I'm so sorry I missed her. I got to have her back, right? So he start reflecting and he start reminiscing on the past, all the good times y'all had together, how big of an impact you are in his life. And the fact that you really gone and now he feels a sense of rejection, right? Remember that word, rejection. He feel rejected because you basically rejected him when you dismissed him, when you disregarded him, when you blocked him and moved on with your life and you cut him off, you rejected him. And a lot of times a man's ego just does not allow that to just be, you know? He upset the fact that you really moved on because, again, he thought you would always stay and you would never leave. So a lot of times he just upset and mad. A lot of times when a man come back to you, he just mad that you actually left, you know? And now he appreciates you and respects you because you actually had the guts to love yourself and to actually walk away from him. You know, and he see that you're a powerful woman because you walked away and he'll never have access again. Or it's going to be a, a real hard time for him to get you back if he ever do, right? So that's number three. So number four, the fourth reason why you need to ignore a man, go no contact and give him some space to miss you and appreciate you. Number four is it separates your attachment to him and your mental dependency on him, right? So this is all about your feelings. A lot of y'all women, you afraid to lose this man because you don't know how to be by yourself or you don't know how to be alone. You don't really love yourself. You afraid of starting over. You afraid of, you know, you'll never find another man like him. Or you think that, you know, he's the best you could do. Or y'all spent so much time together, you don't want to let it go. Or y'all got kids together and whatever. You don't want to break up the family. You know, stuff like that. So you have an emotional dependency on this man. It might not be a financial dependency on this man. You got your own money, right? You might not need him financially. But a lot of times it's an emotional dependency on him because you got attached to this man over time or you really, really like him or you like the idea of who he could be, a.k.a. that fake potential that you think he got, even though he don't got no potential, but that fake potential that he got, you are obsessed with the idea of what he could be, even though he showed you that he will never be what you think he will. He will never be that great man that you want him to be. And you can't change him. A lot of times, you can't change a man. He is who he is. Or the only way you will ever see change behavior out of a man is if it's actually consequences behind his actions and you actually leave and walk away. When, when it's consequences and you leave a man and walk away and block him, now he know, hey, this woman not playing with me. This woman for real. And then you know in your mind, I don't need this man. I can detach my feelings. I don't care how long we've been together. We could have been together for two years, five years, 10 years, 20 years, 50 years. And I will leave you in a heartbeat if I'm not happy or if I'm disrespected or if you get too comfortable and you get to mistreating me, I'm going to leave, right? So basically you get over your fear of losing a man. You should always get over your fear of losing a man. You should never be afraid to lose a man. He need to be afraid of losing you. You the blessing, you the prize, you are everything to this man. This man don't even know what to do without you. This man can't even cook his own food without you. Can't even do his laundry without you. Can't even do nothing without you. You know, without your help, this man is nothing without you. So you got to realize that you are the commodity. You are the prize. And when you realize that, you say, I'm not losing this man this man is losing me, you know? 
a lot of times when you break up with a man and you go no contact, you don't want to do it because you feel like I'm losing. I'm losing this man. I don't want to cut him off because I'm losing him. No, nah, sister, he losing you. You the prize, not him. The, the woman is the prize. I'm going to tell you as a man, always the woman. You know what I'm saying? Yes, are we both the prize? Blah, blah, blah. The man the prize, the woman the prize. The woman, y'all know who the real prize is. The woman, right? The man got to work his whole life to attract the woman. The woman is the prize. So you should not have an emotional dependency on a man. He need to be dependent on you. For, you know, everything. And you don't never have to depend on him financially for sure. And not even emotionally. You need to learn how to detach your feelings from a man to be able to go no contact, right? So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final reason why you need to go no contact and block him and cut him off or pull back temporarily or whatever you need to do to separate yourself from this man, to make him appreciate you, number five is, it now gives you power moving forward in the relationship or marriage or situationship, whatever. So it gives you power now. Now this man know not to try you no more. You know, now this man know that one day you will leave him. If he, if he act up again, he already seen that one time you will leave. So now he know better this time. He like, this girl not playing with me. I need to be on my P's and Q's. I need to cherish her. I need to appreciate her. I need to value her because she could be gone at any given moment. And there's going to be consequences behind my actions. So I have no choice but to respect her. She showed me that she don't need me in her life. She showed me she could do better without me. She showed me that she can survive without me. She showed me how much of a blessing she is in my life. And I don't want to lose her again because I already got a taste of losing this woman. So if I lose her for good, then I don't know what I'm going to do. So now I need to cherish her. Now I know, okay, let me do everything right moving forward so I never be in a position to lose her again. And that's what make a man respect you when he's afraid of losing you. Now he know I got to keep her. I got to do everything I can to get her and keep her and maintain her. I can't slack off. I can't mistreat her. I can't dog her out because she going to leave me. And I got to be back outside with those chicken heads and hoochie mamas that don't really love me and that use me for my money when I could be right here with this great woman that is amazing and do everything for me and provide happiness to my life because he not happy with them chicken heads. It may look like he happy, but deep inside, he really want to be with you as long as he doing right. But if he not doing right, then what you got to do? Cut him off and leave him alone because he don't appreciate you, right? So ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five reasons why you need to pull back and you need to block a man and give him some space to miss you, think about you, and to appreciate you and respect you. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me. And I'm out of here. So, to the next video.